like. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Kyle Bradshaw here, and I'm with Brian from Metzler, and we're standing in front of the first set of Carew Fours to hit the USA. Now, Brian, why the Carew Four? Crew 4, honestly, um, it's going to replace the Crew 3 that's been out for a little while. Um, oh, I thought it was going to be added into the line. No. It's actually replacing it. It's going to replace it. The okay. Crew 3 is going to slowly go away. It's still available in the field. Crew 3 was a great tire. Mm -hmm. It's just getting a little long in the tooth. So, yeah, the Crew 4 is coming out now. It's all improved from the ground up. Everything from the bead package all the way to the compound and the okay. knob placement has all changed on this tire. Sick. So the one thing I see about this tire that I really like over the Crew 3 is this block right here slide to the side. So the crew, the crew three had a kind of a scoop shaped block to it and it didn't have any side block here. So it just came straight all the way across the edge, right? Correct. So, yeah. right. so what we've changed a little bit, you know, on the crew three, this would have been more pushed up to uh -huh. here. Now it's been staggered a little bit. So you're going to have a lot more edge bite now when you really yeah, get that side hill is going to be. Yes, tile. exactly. Exactly. And all the little things in there too, like you probably noticed these little blocks in there, you know, a lot of that is to help create some air pockets in there. So if you actually okay. get in some really deep mud, it'll create an air pocket to help it clean out a little bit easier. Super cool. Tread compound as Tre compared to the Crew 3. Tread compound on it's going to be kind of more like a medium soft. You know, okay. on a tire like this, you know, the carcass is going to be a little bit harder. The knobs are going to be a little softer because we're assuming you're going to take this off road, which right. means you're going to get in some rocks. You're going to go over some tree roots, things right. like that. So you want these to be able to claw away at that surface and help give you a little bit more grip. So according to the durometer here, we're looking at about, oh, wow, that's really good. Look at it, 64 on the drama <laughs> reader. That's crazy. So if we took a look at some of the other tires out there in this category, we're looking at some of them are up to 80. Correct. Which is crazy. 70, 72, 74 is about what we normally see out mm -hmm. there in this segment. So to be able to go that low. Now yep. my question, what about mileage? Honestly, it is so new. I don't know yet. So really, <laughs> really all I have is everything that Metzler has told me. It okay. looks like mileage wise, it's going to be pretty on par with the Carew 3. Okay. If, if there is a little bit better mileage, it is marginal. I hate to admit, but it okay. will be about five to 10% better mileage than the Carew 3. That's good. Uh, let me come over here. So front tire, it looks like we're a little bit, a little bit harder on this one. We're looking mm -hmm. at 72 for mm -hmm. the front tire. Mm -hmm. um, in your guys' testing, mm -hmm. front tire wear versus rear tire wear, is that going to be close to the same or are we going to go through a couple of rears to every front? Should be pretty much the same. Now, if you end up taking this tire and doing the majority of your riding on street, you might end up running through, you know, two rears to a front. Mm -hmm. But again, this being a true 50-50 tire, we really do expect you to use this half your time off-road, right. if not most of the time off-road. Right. Awesome. And then let's take a quick look really quick. Did the uh, tread depth on, the, on these chains from the Crew 3? Got a little bit deeper by about 132nd or so. I think one in the front, I think a couple in the back. Don't quote me because, again, this is brand new. So this is the first time I'm seeing them as well was uh, 8 o'clock this morning. So, <laughs> so yeah. It's awesome. So we have 8 millimeters in the front, which is going to be right around 1030 seconds. And in the rear, we're looking about 1230 seconds or 10 millimeters. So yep. it's a pretty decent pretty decent tread block. It is because a full knobby, like if you were looking at just a dirt bike yeah, tire, yeah. a full knobby dirt bike tire is close to 15 millimeters. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. to be DOT approved, which this is, you can't go as tall as 15. So you always got to come somewhere below 15 millimeters of tread depth. Gotcha. So handling characteristics of these as compared to the Crew 3? Um, compared to the Crew 3, it's going to have a little bit better street manners. Um, okay. A little bit less noise out of this tire than we had out of the Crew 3. Okay. Just the way the Crew 3 was designed for the bikes at the time, it was very well adapted. But now mm -hmm. that the bikes have moved on, ABS is more commonplace, things like that, road noise has become a significant factor. Gotcha. So, so now on this tire, even though the knobs are very deep, they're all roughly the same height. Okay, cool. Now it looks to me, me yeah, sure. For an hour, I want to okay, hour. yeah. <laughs> you still get any of those nice little elephants left, the big ones? Double check with her. I'm not 100% sure, but double check with her. See if she's got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. It's awesome. You love it. You love right. it. I do. I always love it. You love it. Um, let's see. I was asking. Oh, pro. Let's wait till she starts. Right. Oh, Metzler tires right now. Always. Brand new set. Gave away, gave away a set every day here at the MOA rally. <laughs> Sweet. All right. So it looks like the profile of this is not quite as round as the Crew 3. Correct. Yeah, it's a little bit more flatter profile. Crew 3 was a little bit more peaked like that. So this one will have a more gradual turn okay. in versus the little bit more fast turn in of the right. Crew 3. Sweet. It's also going to help with mileage get that more rubber on the ground. Correct. Correct. Sweet. 
Awesome. Anything else that we should know about the crew for? Um, honestly, no, other than this is the only set that exists in the States <laughs> right now. Um, for real availability, you're going to be looking around August, September, somewhere in that ballpark. Okay, of this year. Of this year. Oh, There's already okay. dealers that have it on back order, so it's already been out there. So people have already been ordering it. So we do know that, but August, September is a realistic timetable when we'll actually be available for purchase. Perfect. Well, that should be great timing because I'll just be finishing up my test of that K60 Ranger. There you go. So pretty interesting. The new Metzler Carew 4. First look, I'm super stoked. I love the 3 on the GS. Mm -hmm. It just works so good. Yep. Um, and this is going to be awesome. Yep. I, I really love good. the new side by. That's going to be amazing for you guys that, that want a little bit more side hill traction. Yep. And uh, yeah, stoked to be able to test them out. So as soon as they become available, we'll get them on the bike and we'll get you guys a real world test out there on the tire proving ground that I've created up there in the San Bernardino National Forest. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Brian, for your time. Really appreciate it. Appreciate you. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, and I'm sure Brian will kind of scroll through there and be able to answer any of those that you guys might have. So Absolutely. leave a comment down below. Appreciate you guys. Until next time, take care and ride safe out there. Cool. Thank you, sir. All right.